Now another really cool feature that SharePoint Document Management offers us is alerts. I sometimes want to be alerted by SharePoint when a document has received some form of change. Um, and so what I can do, for example, if I go back to this coffee document and select this document and I go to my show actions, there's an alert me option. And so if I go here, now this also depends on what rights you've been given by the SharePoint website creator. But this is um, the alert title and I can customize this. So um, this document, um, African Growing Regions, um, I'll just take off this end, but has been altered. That's the alert title. Um, it'll send the alerts to myself, but I could also say, look, I need you to send an alert to this person as well. The delivery method is it will send me an email, but you could tell it to send you a text. Ah, now you can't do this with SharePoint online, only with the enterprise version of SharePoint. So you will be emailed if you're using SharePoint online. Um, send alert when anything changes, someone else changes the document, someone else changes the document created by me, someone else changes the document last modified by me. So I'll go for any changes. Um, when to send the alert immediately or send me a daily summary or weekly summary and you can also specify what day and what time you want that summary to be sent. But I just say send it immediately and OK. And so I'm going to receive an email and so is SSPC2 whenever that document undergoes any changes. Um, the number of options you receive may vary but typically most of us are allowed to set up alerts if anything is altered. Now alerts are not only in the um, show actions, alert me, but also up here in your ribbon where the three dots are, you can choose alert me as well. And so that's another way to be um, setting up your alerts. If you want to manage your alerts, so let's say I go back to the um, document I was working on, this earlier document here, I'm just going to control wheel that back a bit so it's not so big and I go into my three dots and I go manage my alerts then I can say here um, has been altered so I can delete the selected alert just by ticking it and then delete or I could click on here and I could edit the alert details same sort of settings we had before so you can delete your alert or edit your alert quite simply. All right.